Hey YouTube, it's TMAX95 here, and today the topic is bulkheads. Uh, when it comes to bulkheads, they're a very important piece of equipment for saltwater tanks. Unfortunately, on the internet, the measurements that you need to understand in order to order bulkheads can be kind of confusing. I spent, recently I spent probably two hours looking into the bulkheads and, and the bits that I would need in order to drill my tank. Um, now, how this applies to me and what tank am I drilling is I am building a new 45 gallon um, cube tank. It's 24 by 24 by 18 inches tall. Um, this tank is 100% custom including the stand in the tank and everything inside of the tank in terms of overflow and plumbing. These are the bulkheads that I am using and this is what I've used in the past in terms of style of bulkhead. Um, so this is what I'm sticking to. Both of these bulkheads are slip by slip. And what that means is if you look at the top, there's no threads. If you look at the bottom, there's no threads. Now in this one, it's kind of hard to see because it has the barb fitting, but I'll show you with the bigger one. No threads, no threads. And what that means is you can take a piece of pipe. Um, here it is. You can take a piece of pipe and you can slide the pipe down in to the bulkhead. What that will do is then that will seal it off when you take PVC glue and well, it's cement, take cement and primer and you glue that in there and you cannot move this once you do that. Now, um, there's also slip by thread, which means the top you can slide the pipe in and the bottom on the inside would be threaded right here. There's also thread by thread, which means you would thread into the top flange and you would also thread in the bottom flange and then there's also thread by slip where you would thread into the top flange and you would slide into the bottom flange um, basically that is the basic rundown on how bulkheads what type of bulkheads there are out there now unfortunately just because your bulkhead let's say this one is a three-fourths inch bulkhead that does not mean it takes a three-fourths of an inch hole in the glass. That means that it takes three-fourths inch standard PVC piping into the flange. That's what this is here. You slide that in and it makes, makes the watertight seal once you glue it. Now, you have to order special bits in order to drill through glass, which they're called diamond-coated bits. Now, you can get them fairly cheap on the internet, um, on places like eBay, but they're from China, so it takes forever. I bought these ones off of US sellers, and it, they were fairly cheap. I ended up paying, I think, $12 for this bit here. No, 15, I'm sorry, this was $15.99, and then this bit here was 6 or $7.99. Now, each manufacturer manufactures their bulkheads a little differently in terms of thickness. So this, for example, is an inch and a half bulkhead. This is from Bulk Reef Supply. If you ordered this off of eBay or another third party site, this could range in terms of the hole saw that you actually need. This takes a 60 millimeter hole saw. Now you'll know this is going to work when you can slip it over the end of your, uh, end of your bulkhead. Now, like I said, depending on the thickness of the bulkhead, you might need a bigger or smaller bit depending on the company on which you ordered the bulkhead from. It's always nice to send an email and ask what size hole is needed for their bulkhead. Um, bulk Reef Supply makes this pretty easy because they listed it on the actual um, item listing. It said that it takes a 60 millimeter uh, hole saw. Now, this is my return bulkhead. And this one came with the barb fitting already glued into the bottom. Now, for the top, it doesn't really so much matter on the drain line in terms of if you cement this or not. I personally probably will not. I'll just slide the pipe down into the uh, top of the flange because if this leaks water, it's not going to matter because that pipe takes water down anyway. And it's not like it's going to leak dramatically. Um, I hope this kind of shines a little bit of light on the topic and hopefully um, you'll be able to make it a little more clear. Now, in terms of the gasket, the gasket usually comes with the bulkhead. That goes on top. There's only one gasket needed per bulkhead. 
You put it on the top piece, and then when you tighten this down, it sandwiches the rubber gasket in between the flange and the piece of glass or acrylic, whatever. That prevents any leaks. Um, so if you have any questions on terms of bulkheads, just comment down below, and hopefully this will make you uh, be able to do your shopping a little easy. Er, thanks.